Hello and welcome to today's edition of How Pete Rolls. Today we're going to take a project from start to finish on how to build a portable bait rigging table. This is a bait rigging table, but it's not portable. The problem with this is, is it's a little short on height, and if the boat travels, say, to the islands or to a fishing tournament, we don't have a place to rig baits away from the boat, and you don't want to be rigging baits on the boat because it's messy. So I've come up with an idea to build this portable bait rigging table. I think we can do it in three hours. Come along with me to the shop and we'll get started. Okay, now we're in the shop of Scylla Enterprises Inc., corporate headquarters. And I'd like to explain what we're going to do with this table. One thing I can tell you is the height of this table is much too low because you'll have to be bending over to work on your baits. So a little bit later on I'm going to explain how we want to bring this table up. Now what I'd like to do is install a series of fiddles on the top of this table. A fiddle is sort of like a backsplash or something that's going to prevent items from getting pushed off. So. We're going to use this material, it's called AZEC, it's a building material, and we're going to cut it down to a certain size so that it essentially creates a backsplash here, 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 and here. And I want to leave gaps in these corners so when we go to wash the bait residue off, it has a way to evacuate. Now this size is too big for our purposes. So I'd like to introduce Skip Skipper, Lee Carpenter with Siddle Enterprises. And Skip is going to help me rip this material down to the appropriate size. It's three quarters of an inch thick. And I think we want to go three quarter by three quarter. Okay, now that Skip has ripped this AZEC material into three quarter inch by three quarter inch fiddles, we need to cut them to length to go around our table. So Skip, if you write this down, I'm going to give you some measurements. I need uh, two pieces at 23 inches long and two pieces at 30 inches long. Okay, back to the table. Now that Skip has cut our pieces, I'm going to go ahead and dry fit them just to see how they look in place. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now the next step is we want to permanently fasten these fiddles to the tabletop. So we'll go to the drill press next. And if you don't have a drill press, a regular hand drill will work. We have Skip pre-drill some holes, and then we'll get to screwing it down on the top of the table. Just to save time, we went ahead and installed three or four of our fiddles, and uh, we're getting ready to install the fourth one. Let me show you how we're doing this. Uh, I'm going to put a dollop of silicone on the screw holes and then a long bead across the bottom of the fiddle and this is just to help it adhere and also help prevent like fish guts and whatnot getting caught up under it and getting all nasty and then we're using stainless steel self tapping trim screws to tie it down to the table and I'll let Skip Okay, now that we've got our fiddles installed, what I want to do next is, is install two uh, flat plates on the top of the table, right about here. I'm thinking we'll put one here and one here, and they'll both be about that long. This material is called starboard, and it's used uh, primarily for marine use. And then um, Skip is going to route grooves in this, and the purpose of this is to put small tools on or egg sinkers, which we use in rigging baits, and will prevent them from rolling all over the table while we're working. And now 
going to adhere these uh, boards <clears throat> on the tabletop. I put one in place so you can see what the finished product looks like. And instead of uh, screwing this down, I'm just going to use some silicone uh, caulking here to act as a glue and again to prevent fish gruel from getting underneath it. <clears throat> I'll line it up with my marks so everything is symmetrical. Alright, that's stuck. <clears throat> and I'm going to add a weight to it and let it sit for about a half an hour. So this uh, gets good and stuck. Okay, well I think we're down to a short list of things to do. Um, let's go down to the boat and we'll finish up there. Okay, we're back on the dock now. And as you can see, I've raised the table by adding these PVC pipes with furniture tips. And the last part was adding fresh water to wash down our paint cleaning table. It's a simple kitchen sprayer. So that's it folks, as you can see it was a fairly easy project, took about three hours to complete. This will allow us to be able to rig baits comfortably and efficiently while traveling fishing tournaments. Thanks for joining How Pete Rolls.